guys, are you new back in? And this time we're back with a different real life video. This time, as you guys, if you follow my Instagram, you know I've been teasing a haul video for a while now. You're gonna have two haul videos. We're gonna do one specifically for the Black Series as that's my main focus for collecting. Um, before, if I wasn't a dumb kid, I sold off all my Star Wars Lego and had quite a bit, but of course that's all gone now, so my main focus was Black Series. And um, the next one will be random Star Wars or nerdy things. So look out for both those videos. This is the first of two. Um, we're going to do three parts of this video, kind of. Um, first part, I'm going to show you my collection. So after this little intro, I'm going to show you what I have on display currently. And uh, the second part will be uh, unboxing the, the stuff that I forgot I had over the two, three years of collecting. I had some stuff I'd forgotten about. Um, so it's going to be a surprise for me and you what I actually take out the box. And thirdly, um, I'm going to show you what stuff I have in the boxes that I knew I have. So yeah, hopefully that'll be a fun video for all of us. Um, I'm going to use some of the stuff for giveaways. So be sure to follow my Instagram, which I will leave down below for you guys. Uh, leave, uh, Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube so you know what's going on. With If I do put any videos for giveaways or whatever. And also be sure, if you can see that, it's in reverse for me. UK Black Series Collectors and Sales Group. It's on Facebook. Go and follow. I'll be doing some giveaways over there as well. So yeah, see you guys for the giveaways and see you for the future. Here's the stuff that I have on the shelf for you. And yes, before you do ask, I had the top back to front to show off the, 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 the actual group name because last time it didn't go so well. When I turned my back, I didn't know what you were seeing. But that's the actual group logo. You should see that as the group logo. So here is what I have on some of the shelves. As you see, we have the Carbonized Boba Fett, Carbonized Mandalorian, and uh, this is just Imperials. There's Shadow Guards at the back there, but they're very, because uh, it's all black, you can't really, you know, see what's going on. Uh, and these are just Imperials. I've made room for Moff Gideon and uh, Admiral Pitt, but they are soon to come. Here we have the Stormtrooper shelf. As you can see, the f uh, all the First Order stuff at the back that I liked. Um, and yeah, this is just Imperials. And a custom, a very good custom that I love. We cust then we have a custom diorama here. This is quite tall. There's my hand compared to it. Um, yeah, it's very nice. This lights up as well. If you spin it, if you spin it, that does light up, but yeah. Um, very cool. I want to use this in a nice display with my bounty hunters one day, but for now it will stay here. And then we have this shelf. This is just mixed at the minute. Uh, got Mandalorian stuff here and uh, Django, Hondo, Padme, General Grievous and some Jedi here. And then we have my favourite shelf, this is the clone shelf. Uh, just missing Cody at the minute. Um, and soon I'll have Bad Batch probably on there at some point, which have just been uh, confirmed. Down here we have the Bounty Hunter shelf, I need to get stands for Boba and Django. Um, but yeah, we've got Cad Bane, we've got all, the, all of them except for IG at the minute, which I'm trying to get a double of so I can have one of the Archive Editions sealed. And then down here is just uh, the Sith kind of stuff versus the Jedi. It's very hard to see because it's all dark, but there's Anakin on there, Luke, uh, both Revens, Dooku is there, and yeah. So to get the big boy out of the way, uh, first off I have this massive TIE Fighter. This is uh, definitely going. Of course this was pretty obvious that I knew what it was because there was no outer box. It did come with an outer box but the outer box was like a little bit bigger and it took it was way more wider so I had to get rid of it to make more space. But there's a comparison with my hand, there's the figure. And yeah, I think the wing panel is about the size of this box so if I put my hand that's how big the wing is is probably roughly. Anyway, on to the single figures. So first up, just some figures I received in the post. Uh, these were from eBay, an amazing deal. I'm gonna give these uh, back to the group. Um, depending on what I have, because I can't remember what I have, I'll just give this a bit of a clean up. It's got some silver paint there, if you can see. For some reason, I don't know what that is. Oh uh, yeah, but this was an absolute bargain. 30 quid for the Palpatine and the chair. And this was thrown in for free, because this wasn't even on the deal, so amazing. So here's the deal, anything that goes on the bottom shelf of this table is being kept. First up, I'm not looking. We have Princess Leia Organa, very nice. Uh, this is with the botched faces, as you can see. Um, that one will be either giveaway or sold. Next up is a big one. A Imperial Forces 4-pack, I believe this is called. Um, you've got the Sand Trooper there. 
with the White Pauldron, a uh, Crimson Stormtrooper, Lieutenant Oxio, and a Droid. Um, this was from E, I think. It's a bit dusty, as you can tell. Um, yeah. I have no interest in this pack whatsoever, so that will be going. Next up is Finn from the First Order of the Skies. This is from, uh, well, in my opinion, a bad movie, The Last Jedi. Um, not bad characters, just bad execution, I would say, but yeah. Next up is Cassian Andor from the film uh, Rogue One, I believe. A uh, very nice figure. I'm tempted to keep this one, so I'm going to put this in the underneath for now. Up we have Fortnite Maz Kanata from, uh, I think this is from The Force Awakens. Um, it's, it's an okay figure. kind of looks very scary in the eyes there. Um, yeah, have no interest in that figure whatsoever. Next up is, oh, Chira Imwe from also Rogue One. Uh, very nice with the cloth pieces there. I just have no interest in this figure whatsoever. So, yeah. Next up we have X-Wing Pilot Atsi. Very nice uh, pilot. Atsi there with a gun. These are one of the early ones. This was the Force Awakens stuff. Next up we have... Ooh, Django Fett. Uh, sealed as well. Uh, this was a very popular figure uh, a little while back when The Mandalorian came out. Not so popular now because of the Gaming Greats re-release. But yeah, this is uh, not very a nice figure, if you haven't got Django already. Next up we have uh, General Hux here. I got this for an absolute steal in Home Bargains, I think it was. He was like £5. Uh, crazy, crazy good. I don't really see this guy being sold anywhere at, the, at a lot at the minute. But I think he's got a great body that, for customising there. So yeah, but no interest unfortunately in him. Next up we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. I didn't even know I had this guy. Uh, I think I got this guy in the Entertainer when they were being sold for dirt cheap. Uh, I think he goes for quite a lot now, I'm not sure why. An amazing figure. Uh, lightness, not so much. Yeah. Oh, the best figure on the planet, Rose Tika. Uh, yeah, a very unpopular character in The Last Jedi. And uh, yeah, she wasn't shown much in Rise of Skywalker because of it. Uh, again, 55. This will be... Used for some giveaway, probably. <laughs> Next up, we have K2SO. This guy uh, was going for a lot a couple months back. Now he seems to be regularly available from Amazon. Uh, this was before. Actually, this might be the rarer one because I'm pretty. Or was the red eye? There's a red eye variant of this guy. I'm not sure which one is more rarer, but that's white eye K2SO. Lovely figure, I have to say. Next up, we have a solo hand solo. Um, a very good film, very underrated, I would say. Um, so yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, I would definitely watch it. Um, yeah, I think I'll on that guy. Next up we have, ooh, Bosk. Uh, now I want this guy for my Bounty Hunter shelf. So we have Mr. Oh, Lando Calrissian from Solo. Uh, partners with his buddy, Mr. Han. Yeah, nice figures, nice little pair there. Next up we have Darth Maul. Uh, yeah, legit one as well, because the M. Because it's sealed and the M is the correct way. If you didn't know, the fake has a W instead of an M. And yeah, normally there's a black extra pixel there. This is a legit one. Uh, nice condition, actually. Not too bad on that. Oh yeah, I'm still waiting for a Season 7 mole. I have no interest in this mole. First order Flame Trooper. Very nice. These were in Tesco's when I bought him. They were like tenner. Um, yeah, just not really interesting for me. Next up we have a blue line Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, it's just Obi-Wan. I may keep one of these guys for a base body and get like an improved head, but yeah, we'll see. Next up we have, oh, Boba Fett, original line Boba Fett here. Uh, trying to look at his cape. He's got the silver dent there. Legit box. Uh, I'm not seeing any tape. That tape's got a little bit like worn. But yeah, brand new sealed. Very hard to get this guy for cheap now. Up we have Ray and BB-8 from uh, the Rise of Sky... Not Rise of Skull, <laughs> Force Awakens. Um, yeah, this is the second variant. This is the more dirty BB. The first one had a clean variant. And also the first one didn't... The first release version of this one didn't have a lightsaber, I believe. This one. 
Another Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is the orange one. Oh, it looks a bit more surprised there. <laughs> Another Obi-Wan Kenobi there. Uh, decent box condition. I've got the blue one blue one from uh, Entertainer when they were going for like five pounds. Another orange, a hand solo this time. I didn't even know I had this guy. Uh yeah, I'm gonna buy the new Endor hand, just better figure. Uh this is a nice figure, it's just got a terrible, terrible face sculpt in my opinion. Next up we have Kylo Ren. Uh, I'm gonna keep this body for Nilis. Um and see what it looks like. So yeah, that's Kylo Ren. Next up, Baze, Chirrut's best friend. Amazing figure, very bulky. Um yeah, Baze Mal, but it's not really much to say. ATST driver here, not pilot. They rename there's two versions of this guy. One is called the AT80 driver pilot, and one is uh AT80 driver. Um that is literally the only variant. Well, next up we got a Toys R Us exclusive, unfortunately, not in the UK anymore. Uh they got bought out bankruptcy, but there are a couple in America now. Hopefully they return to the UK, but this was a Toys R Us. Nice figure. I have the normal version of this guy. The only difference is that little band. Very nice figure. Very underrated figure, in my opinion. Next up. Oh, I did not know I had this guy. A snow trooper. Yeah, very, very interesting. Wow, I did not know I had this guy. Box is a little bit... A uh, little bit... Uh, scuffed there, which is a bit annoying, but oh well. Next up, Ray from The Last Jedi. Yeah, it's Ray. I haven't got much to say on her. Then we have another Kylo Ren. Uh, this one I'm definitely just going to get rid of. We have Director Krennic. Yes, I needed a box for Director Krennic, so this guy is staying. Oh my god, they've butchered his face. Jesus Christ. Poor man. Yeah, Finn. Uh, very basic figure, just with a gun. Uh, pretty sure there was two versions of this guy. I can't remember what the first one was. I think they had different finishes. So one was glossy and one was matte. Oh, then we have a Death Trooper. This guy is what the, I got this guy for clearance, I'm pretty sure, on, te on Toys R Us. This is a very nice figure. I don't know if I want to keep this guy. Um, but probably not. He doesn't really make any sense in my collection. Even though I do have a Stormtrooper shelf. But they're mainly all like white Stormtroopers and a couple of Forced Unleashed. So it doesn't really make sense. Next one, oh, Captain Phasma, I would definitely be keeping this one. Um, if you see before, I had the Captain Cardinal and Captain Commander Pry, First Order Stormtrooper, so this is the last colourful Stormtrooper I need. We have Master Luke Skywalker. Um, it's just old Luke, I ain't got really much to say. Very, very basic, just the vigour. We have another Ray from The Last Jedi here. Um, this was Island version. Well, was this the Force Awakens? I'm not sure. Um, someone will probably correct me. I'm pretty sure there was two variants of this one as well. And uh, the brilliant Chewbacca. This is the Force Unleashed version. Very dodgy eyes. But this ain't bad from what it w originally was. Uh, we have a First Order Stormtrooper here. Oh god, what's happened to his face? I'm not sure what's happened to his face there, but um, yeah, very strange. Uh, then we have Jin Erso. Nice figure, just needs a face update to be honest. Can't really, can't really complain about that one. We have Kylo Ren again from the uh, the Force Force Awakens. Very nice figure, very underrated figure I think. With the uh, cloth materials there. Shame we don't see that too much in the Force the Black Series line. And of course, Mr. Poe Dameron here. Uh, this is just, I think this was the Lost Jedi version, where he's, he mutinied the team, didn't he, naughty boy. I missed one in that box, this was the uh, Inferno Squad from the Battlefront 2 game, very nice. Uh, we have some 3.75 inch versions of the Black Series, Commander Neo here, I will be keeping him. It's there, very hard guy to find, I'm not sure if he's got yellow in, or he's supposed to be like that. But very nice figure, probably because the pack that was damaged packaging. It was like a fiver when I got another black series Captain Rex here. Uh, very nice detailing on this guy. Very very nice for how little he is. And then we got uh, Princess Leia. Botch. This guy is guy. Sorry, this girl is available in um, in demand. I think for like three pounds. If you guys want a Bosch for like three quid, it's worth picking up. Oh, this is a very big boy. Very very big boy. The Imperial Shadow Squadron. 
Um, very hard set to get these nowadays. These nowadays, they look quite amazing, to be honest. Um, there's a sand trooper there. Uh, come with two guns and the speeder bike there. Um, this is pretty mint, except for a couple dings on the corners. Wow, I thought this one would have been the one that got damaged. Next up with Poe Dameron, uh, there's a piece loose in there, the baton there. Uh, yeah, nothing much to say about that. We've seen them, and we've seen them both before. Ace, SDC version of Obi-Wan. Um, with the holocron tape, very nice set, very, very nice set. You've got his lightsaber and Anakin's. And this, I don't know if I can work this. Can I turn it on? There you go. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Amazing, very amazing figure. I'm tempted to keep that one, but I'm not sure. Another small black series, Death Star Gunner. Very nice. I always like the Death Star Gunners and the Rebel Troopers. Then we have Lando Calrissian. Very nice figure, but I just have no interest in this one. Next up, we have the figures that I knew I have. Maybe there'll be a couple surprises in there. Uh, loads of these 40th guys. Uh, there's a couple Empire Strikes Backs there. Uh, Darth Vader and Boba Fett there. We have a Chewbacca and Luke Skywalker. Then we have a couple more. Princess Leia from A New Hope. R2-D2. Uh, Lando Calrissian and uh, Princess Leia from Hoth. Then we have uh, Obi-Wan from the 20th, cent uh, 20th century. 20th year anniversary of episode 1. These are so nostalgic, especially because... I'm 21 now, so I definitely saw these around. Then we have another 40th, which is a C3PO. And then we have a uh, SDC version of Captain Rex there. One of my favorite boxes. We have SDC Thrawn. Oh. Thrawn, there you go. Very, very nice set. Uh, that helmet is hollow as well, so if you have the set and you want to make custom, there's a good helmet. Just some trophies from the Rebel show. Very, very nice set. That is my Black Series haul for you guys. Again, be sure to follow that Instagram. Be sure to follow my YouTube and subscribe to that. Like this video. And uh, be sure to follow that Facebook group. I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys. And yeah, see you next time, guys. Bye.